So this is the circuit with dummy throws over here. Sprint behind me, shuttle sprints all the way down. You got ropes, balls, and some type of squats. A little different angle here. You can see the ropes and the squats with the kettlebells and also the bags on the other side. You've got up and down with the med balls. This was the last exercise I was talking about, basically triple extension. This is a similar workout to last week with a couple of different exercises. 15 seconds each. 15 seconds each. So just to reiterate, circuit training can be used as an alternative to wrestling every day. Wrestling is good, but you need an alternative for your mind. And you can also get a good workout. Finally, doing things in sprints, short bursts, coupled together. You can get one minute, two minutes, three minutes, but they need a little bit of a break in between. This is how you can design really good workouts for wrestling, really good workouts for a lot of sports. But when you change it up, the mind gets a break and the athletes are a little more stimulated. They can become better over time. After every workout, you should end with some type of stretch. Today we're doing partner stretch. I just gave them about 12 or 15 stretches. After you work out, when muscles contract and shorten, then you stretch the muscles out after the workout so they go back to the normal length. It helps you with recovery and it speeds up the recovery for the next practice. Over time, you can become more flexible. More flexible muscles are stronger muscles. Stronger muscle can produce more force, which means better technique, theoretically. So we just finished eating in the cafeteria here. It's like a regional training center, so they got like 32 beds, I don't know, five or six rooms, three or four per room, or you can do the math and figure it out. But I was told there were 32 athletes here, but just kind of showing you the place where they eat. And then right behind me is where they get their food from, they get served. So it's a nice little scenario, about, I'd say 30 kilometers from downtown UD.